Hi guys and welcome back to Jojo's Corner. So let's get the Jojo. If you're new to my channel, hello, how are you? And if you're not new to my channel, welcome back. Today, I'm coming with a different kind of video. We're gonna try something new. So if you wanna know what we're going to be trying today, keep on watching. <laughs> And we are back. So as you guys know, Becca Cosmetics came out with a new zero pigment foundation. I saw it, it really didn't get my attention. But anyways, that was about two weeks ago or a week ago. But yesterday, when I came home, I found this. So I got it through Influencer, of course, for me to review. So I want to see what is all the buzz about because uh, no pigment collection, which is a foundation with no pigment, no pigmentation, as well as a highlighter with no pigmentation. It's kind of like, what? So this is what we are going to be trying today. Yes, I got this through Influencer. If you don't know what Influencer is, it's actually an app or you can do it in your web browser where you sign up for and anything and everything that you have in your household, whether it's stuff for the house or personal care, hair, anything, you can log in, review it, you know, put a picture of the item, leave a review if whether you like it or not. And then when as the time goes by and as you leave reviews then they will send you a survey for you to fill out and to see if you qualify for them to um send you a box box which is it contains products it can be any kind of products for you to review and of course you have to leave there um leave a review on influencer as well as either instagram do a youtube video it, the review is up to you so that's this is how i got this that it actually i wasn't even expecting it because they did not send me a survey for this so i was actually i'm right now i'm actually very grateful because i was not planning to grab this but since i got it i figure we'll try them out so first thing first this is how it came in the box no pigment collection it comes with a little card that lets you know details and prices we're going to get into that in a minute and this is a no pigment foundation and here inside is the no pigment glass highlighter for face and lips so let me put the box to the side this packaging i kind of like it it's very simple but i like it it looks so classy now let's open the becca zero pigment foundation i actually have to say that i love this packaging as usual becca cosmetics does this kind of becca name on top i love this packaging this feels very expensive it is super heavy in here i believe is one fluid ounce as any other foundation but i absolutely love the packaging when you open it there is a little spatula in there i guess for you to um take the product out with the spatula but i love the packaging it says that this makeup and skin hybrid has zero pigment so it gives you this smooth out blur out virtually invisible finish with the hydration of a skincare it's very interesting perfect for days when you want to take a break for a full face makeup look and show the world nothing but you one of the main ingredients or one of the key ingredients here is hyaluronic acid which you know this it is really really good for the skin and one of the key benefits that it says is all day hydration all day oil control and is not not adniotic so that is for a day foundation now i am very very intrigued all i have on my face of course i got my eyebrows done all i have in my face right now is my moisturizer you know my skincare how i want to try this is have with the no pigment foundation and the all they have normal to see if i see any difference so let me show you this no pigment highlighter or lip this is how it looks it has a little dolpha inside like a, a concealer 
it's pretty pretty big and it's kind of flat this is very interesting let me see if i can do a little swatch it's nice sticky i don't know if you can see you can see it right there it has this is where apply it has it's very very interesting i like the texture of it it's very smooth it feels like you have something on but at the same time like it gives you like this glow within like i don't know it's very weird so let's talk about this no pigment glass highlighter for face and lips it says with zero pigment this multi-use highlighter give a skin a glass like glow without the sticky feel and that is right it does not feel sticky at all as you can see i'm just rubbing it through and this does not have that sticky feeling whatsoever it says here that key benefits are non-stick comfortable wear and multi-use for face and lips so face and lips i don't know i don't know i forgot this retails for 24 dollars and it's kind of the size of my ColourPop. Actually, my ColourPop concealer is bigger, <laughs> taller. But it has 0.3 fluid ounces. And this and the foundation retails for 36. So you have that no pigment foundation for 36 and the highlighter for 24. So now you understand why I didn't want to grab it. Okay, but let's start with the talking. Now I'm going to do this half of my face with the foundation and let's see how this feel this had like that silicone feeling that would you get through a primer oh it has that cooling sensation i don't know if you can see you can't see but it has the silicone feeling this kind of feels like it is a primer but it has that cooling sensation which is very i don't know it's very very weird so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the little spatula and I'm just going to put some on my, th oh my, I'm going to do it like this. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I'm just going to put some in my forehead. This feels super, super cooling. <music> it feels like you're wearing a primer on your face instead of a foundation but right off the back i can tell you that it it is getting rid of all that oily i don't know if you can tell how this size look versus this one let me get my hair back it's supposed to blur out your pores i don't know if it's doing that let me add a little more Okay, one thing that I do have to say, as I'm spreading out with this pulley, I do see that it's blurting out my pores a whole lot. Looking in the mirror, I don't know if you guys can see, but I do see that some of the pores over here did get blurred out. I'm comparing this side to this side that doesn't have anything. And it does. I do can see a little bit of difference. It's not a big difference, but I, I can definitely tell that it's doing something. It's definitely blurting out some of my pores. And as you can see, this side looks a little bit more matte compared to this side. So it's kind of got rid of the oily appearance on this side. I do like the cooling effect that it has. You guys see a different? I'm gonna get, let's get a little cl up close and personal. No pigment foundation. 
nothing at all. You guys see a difference? I personally, you can't tell much from far. I definitely see this is kind of like more oily, you know. But once I get close, like I can see like some of my pores, especially in this area, don't look as large as in this side. What do you guys think? I'm actually very amazed. Okay, so now let me put the foundation to the side. Let me apply some of this so-called highlighter. I guess I'm applying the same way that you do a highlighter. I'm just gonna... Can you see a difference? I do see a different looking in my mirror. It does have that glass effect. I actually like it very, very much. What do you guys think? I, I actually very, very impressed. My face feels super smooth. Now, I want to apply it for the rest of my face and see how my face look. So, now let's get it. We're gonna apply it to the other side of the face. See, if I go like this, you can see a difference. It doesn't give no instruction on how to apply it. control the oil in your face I can tell you that right now it does blur out some of your pores now I won't say a whole lot but it does blur them out like I'm not an expert on when it comes to foundation and things like that but I do see a difference on how my skin looks And it feels amazing. I have to be completely honest. It does feel amazing. The highlighter note says that wasn't supposed to be sticky. It does feel a little bit sticky on the skin. Let me add a little bit to this side. I don't know if I'm putting too much. And I'm just patted that in to the skin like if it was if I were applying highlighter without a brush. Do I see a difference? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you guys see a difference? I personally love it. It looks really, really good on the mirror. I got some fine lines here. That didn't do much, but I do like how the, my face look. I do like how my face feels. You can see the highlighter a little bit, not too much, but you, you notice that there is something there. Now I would not be applying that in my mouth. I just, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just gonna take a little bit with my fingers. One thing that I forgot to mention is that these products don't have any fragrance, same as they don't have no pigment, they have zero fragrance, which is amazing. But the skin does feel hydrated. I love that cooling sensation. I put some in my lips, and you see how they look, so they shiny they look? I do like it. I'm liking it right now a little bit too much. Right now, I, I, I like how my face feels. Like, I never tried anything like this, and I really like it. I'm really enjoying it. So, if you weren't planning on grabbing this, let me tell you, you have to try this combo. I wasn't planning on grabbing it. Like I said, 
I'm super grateful that I was able to try it because right now I'm loving it. I'm actually gonna try it on a day of work and see how it does. And then I'm come back and upload the video. I want to wear it for at least eight hours and see how it does. But so far, I gotta say it, price point, Becca is one of those high-end brands. As we all know, they're not cheap. Now, it has one fluid answer like any other foundation. So for the price, I don't think it's bad at all. What it does to your face, it is amazing. Now between these two, I'll definitely go for this. If you wear the No Zero foundation, you really are not going to need the glass highlighter. Now, let me tell you something, it does feel great on the lips. I was a little bit skeptical about it, but with this hot in Florida, you need something to keep your lips hydrated. So I'll definitely continue to try it and see those last all day or overall if i continue to like it but once again i am very 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 impressed with, with these two so if you're not planning to grab it i will tell you right now yes it's a little bit pricey but you should definitely try it out for yourself so this is it for this video i hope that you guys like my little demonstration and my little my little review I'm gonna do like a little close up. Like I said, I do want to do an all day test work to see how it does. We're going outside, you know, oil in my face and all that. But other than that, this is it. Don't forget, if you like the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Also turn your post notifications so you know Every time I upload a video, I'm trying to do at least once a week. And with this being said, it will be on to the next one.